everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I'm gonna do a video tonight on healthy meals. So I'm actually gonna be chatting with H about our healthy meals and how we do things as a family. Um, are you excited? <laughs> he's not excited. It's, <laughs> he's totally not excited. <laughs> so would you say that we always have had healthy meals? Because we've been together for how long have we been together for? How many years? 17. <laughs> no. 16. 16! And a half. 16 and a half. Yes, yeah, 16 and a half years. Um, hi, Mel! And would you say that we have always had healthy meals? Because 16 years ago we were a lot younger. Well, yeah, healthy for us. Healthy for us, yeah. Um, so in, in college, remember they had slices? What, what was that? Their quarter? 50 cents. Dollar fifty for two mango slices. A dollar fifty for two huge slices of pizza. That was, that was how we rolled in college. Yes. Yes. But aside from that, um, after college, right? And especially after we started having kids, um, I think that our, our meals kind of changed a lot and really shifted into a healthier option, right? Mm -hmm. And stayed pretty healthy, you know, with the occasional pizza and whatnot um, still. So how would you, how would you describe um, how we kind of put healthy meals together? Because this is something that a lot of people struggle with, right? There's a lot of people that struggle consistently getting healthy meals in and making it taste good and making it something that everybody likes, right? Because not everybody will eat the same food all the time. So how would you say that we, we do that? Oh. Well. Vegetable, grain, meat, or protein. Mm -hmm. And usually they're separate. <laughs> I feel like mixing them together is harder, and I feel like we used to. I, I don't know. I feel like people usually try to mix all their stuff into one. But we just have meat, potato, vegetable. Right? Yeah. No? Yeah. I mm -hmm. don't know. No, that's. Okay. Do you eat vegetables? Do you eat meat? You eat vegetables, you eat meat, and you're good. Yeah. What, what else is there? <laughs> what else is there? Really? Um, yeah, I think I, I think I know what you mean when like because uh, we do a lot of things separately. Um, <laughs> I can't make a dish, Sheila. Sheila says she can't make a dish, right? Like that's a lot harder, and I think sometimes a lot more steps involved. Um, if you're going to, yes, my hot dish. Yeah, so one of my favorite things to make, well, you make you make it with um, chorzo. He makes it with pork, but one of my favorite things to make is ground meat or ground beef, and um, then just adding like rice and then frozen veggies, and that's in a big cast iron. That's one of our go-to quick meals, and it's really quick, easy, fast to make. There's a ton of veggies in there, um, and protein and everything, yeah, complete nutrient. Chorizo. That's good. Yes. It's very good, like a spicy pork. Um, but to your point, when you're making, trying to make a meal, a lot of times it's like, I'm going to make this dish, and there's a lot of steps. Like, the other day I made um, stuffed baked potatoes. Yeah, and we used venison. I used venison, and then... I ground venison and mushrooms and onion, and then I added in, um, oh, something else now. But then I Brussels also, sprouts. Brussels sprouts, yes, I roasted Brussels sprouts and all this stuff, and then I, you know, I had to bake the potatoes and, you know, all these things, so that when I made this meal, it was like baked, you know, stuffed baked potatoes, I was like, that's going to be so good, but I ended up making separate dishes, like I had the baked potato and I had the Brussels sprout and I had the venison and, and mushroom and, and onion like all ready to go and I was like we could just eat this I was like but no it's not the stuffed baked potato so I had to scoop out the baked potato and then I had to pack the baked potato and then put cheese I put cheese on it because that was good and then I put that in the oven again so that was like extra steps so yeah. it took longer to make dinner but sometimes that's nice if you've got the time to make a meal or make dinner you know it's nice to do that um and you make excellent meals yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> You do. I, you're a better cook than I am. <laughs> um, you made your husband fried radishes and said they were potatoes. Oh my God, that's genius. That's genius. Now I want to try it. I want to try fried radishes. I haven't had a radish in a really long time, actually. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're totally going to do that. Do you? Yeah. But I think, yeah, when cooking meals, like I tend to do that where I'll just get whatever, you know, 
meat that we have and usually like grilled chicken or grilled salmon burger or we do a lot of venison because you acquire the venison right yeah yeah free range organic <laughs> Um, so we have a lot of venison. What's the other thing besides I do the ground venison. I'm not good at cooking the other stuff though. Um, the roasts. Roasts. Yeah. 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 Which again takes longer, but didn't you make one in the instant pot? Uh, yeah, we did that. I like the cock pot, but I haven't figured out the, the instant pot. Yeah. 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 It's very particular about the cooking of the venison that he acquires. Yeah, slow and not too much. Not too much. Don't cook it too much. Oh, don't overcook it. Yes, that's also not good. Mm. That's a good tip. Mm -hmm. So starting with some type of meat or protein. Um, yeah, and however you're going to make that. I usually make things in a hurry. So I use the grill, the George Foreman grill a lot. That's my go-to. <laughs> um, and then a veggie. I do a lot of steamed broccoli or asparagus or... Um, you know, or sometimes it's just a fresh, you know, either salad or like tonight we had snap peas, you know, fresh snap peas. So throwing that veggie in there and then usually the carb just kind of works itself out because you always have to have a carb. Well, it's way easier when you don't have to cook vegetables. You just eat them raw. It is. Yeah, it is. But I'm not going to eat a raw Brussels sprout. Are you uh, going to eat a raw Brussels sprout? Or asparagus? I've not had raw. Yeah. yeah. But that's, peas, that's what we had. Yeah, snap peas. We had snap peas tonight. So, I mean, so little things like that, like throwing dinner together really quick and easy, separate, you know, separate chunks. I think that's how we throw together most of our healthy meals. Really fast, really easy. They're, um, and the kids like them, right? All three, our three kids like them and eat them. You like them and eat them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are your favorite healthy meals to make that are not set up in that fashion that we talked about, where it's like a protein and veggie and carb? Oh. <laughs> what, what are, what well, are your favorite meals? Raw asparagus is good? Really, Rachel? Is it? See, now I'm going to have to try stuff. People are commenting. The roasted radishes or and on raw asparagus? Really? Oh. Are you playing a trick on me? She could be playing a trick. She'd be like, oh, it's totally good. Eat it. And then you're like, well, maybe. Anyway. I've had it in salads, I think. Oh, that maybe. It's pretty good. Yeah. And now that I remember that. Yeah. So your favorite meal, one of your favorite healthy meals to make that's not in the protein, veggie, carb fashion. What do you mean? Well, like, if you're going to make a dish, if you're going to, like, I'm going to make food. I don't really make dishes. I do the chorizo or... Yeah. Well, besides that, what else do you make? What else do you like making? <laughs> You're looking at me like I'm asking you the most bizarre question ever. I do Were you really like, he cooks, he cooks. I, I mean... like grilling, <laughs> but it's all separate foods. It's not like a dish. I make pies. <clears throat> you I make, make pie. pie? Yeah, pie. Pie is a dish. Pie is a dish? Yeah, isn't pie a dish? Pie is not a dish. It's got apples and grains. An apple pie is a dish? <laughs> yeah. It's not a dish. And corn is not a vegetable. Corn is not a vegetable. <laughs> it's a grain. Corn uh, is not. Corn is not a vegetable. It's a grain. Um, oh my god. Well, so for years, especially when I had my office, I would get home pretty late. So he actually cooked majority of the meals for I think it's like seven, eight years. Every night I would come home and he would have dinner, and it was wonderful. And he's an excellent cook. So that was always wonderful to have meals made every night and now we switch off we do about 50 50 so he still cooks about 50 percent of the time right mm. sometimes we cook together but not very often i don't like sharing the kitchen mm -mm. if i'm in there i like to be in there and i like to do the things unless i ask specifically help with a, a certain thing but otherwise i like to run the show for anybody else who likes to run the show in the kitchen yeah right <laughs> Did <you> see that <laughs> yes of course, but um, well, you make pizza, right? Yeah. And yeah, and that's a good dish. Um, it's a dish, pizza's a dish. The pizza's pie's a, a dish. Di pie, is, pie is a dish now, I guess. Dang it, <laughs> you got me. You got me. The other, um, the other thing, <laughs> um, KB, yes. <laughs> um, 
What about fish? Okay, so you uh, also are a fisherman. This, in case you guys haven't seen this, this is his hat. This is a fly. Did you tie this one? Uh, I don't think, maybe. Maybe? It's been in there for 10 years. It's a fly fisherman. Yeah, this has been in this hat for 10 years. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so he likes, he loves to fish. So we get a lot of fish. Um, ice fishing in the winter and other fishing throughout the year. And um, there's a lot of different ways. I used to not like fish. I used to really hate fish. So again, fish is super healthy for you, especially if you're getting it from a clean source. Um, and a lot of great omegas, great fatty acids in it for you that are essential for your diet, tons of protein. And if you're going out and catching your own fish, it's like free protein, free protein, hashtag fishing, hashtag free protein. So Tell me about um, cooking fish, the, your couple of favorite ways that you cook fish. Because I'm not good at cooking fish, unless it's like a frozen salmon burger from Costco. Well, like, the important part about fish is freshness. Freshness? So, it's like... It's gotta be, like... Pulling I don't, in. I don't keep fish unless we're eating it that day. Okay, so we have to eat it that day. Mm -hmm. When I like cod, but, you know, we get fed on the East Coast... Mm -hmm. and that's, you are not on the east coast. But you just broil, like I like white flaky fish, but broiling it for 20 minutes with a little butter, dill. Maybe a new video. Sure. It's very simple. Um, mm -hmm. Just a simple... You cook it simply and it's we're so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not overcooking it. Not over, see, not overcooking it. He's not ever a fan of overcooking. We We're talking about Papa cooking fish. You see how you know when a good fillet is done is the fat comes to the top. Fish oh, a good Soon. fillet is fish done cheek, fish cheek, fish cheek. when the fat comes to the top. So that's broiling it though. And fish mm -hmm. cheek is yeah. yummy. So what are fish cheeks? What do you call fish cheeks? What are fish cheeks? The fish cheeks? Oh, the cheeks from the walleye? Yeah, we just put them in an egg uh -huh. wash and... And some seasoned flour and mm -hmm. seasoned gluten-free flour. Yeah. What if Daddy? And we fry them in a little <laughs> cast iron pan Wait. with some oil. Yeah. What if Daddy so, chick cooks chicken gizzards? Ew! Chicken gizzards, <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> they were at the store was a few days ago. We were at the grocery store, and I don't know why, but they were carrying around this bag of chicken gizzards. And it was disgusting. Oh, well, it was right next to the pork chitterlings. What are pork chitterlings? <laughs> I don't What's know. a chitterling? <laughs> chitterling. I'm Where is I'm that? Try it. On the pig. I want a chitterling. You're a little piggy. Where is your pork chitterling? <laughs> and not a Piggy, I'm your dad, you silly. <laughs> silly. Can you put my head back off now? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's the other way. So I would say the healthiest way that we eat fish, which is the way I love, and, like, it's so simple, right? I never liked fish before. I'm, I'm still not that great at cooking it, and I don't do it just because he's here, and I make him cook it for me. Can we eat Broil it. Can we have it with for fish. dinner tomorrow? Uh, I will have you eat those. We'll have you eat those. But broil it with butter and dill. It's so good, super healthy. And then you said it's done when the fat comes to the top. Because that's another thing too. You don't want to overcook it. Or you can see the the Chicken separations in the meat start to open the slightly. Okay, separations in the meat. So these are really key cooking tips for cooking um, fish and proteins. So it's good so that like kids eat them and, and I and I eat them. And then the other piece is um, so we call them fish cheeks, which isn't really cheeks. And well, then, the cheeks. well, there are cheeks in there, the right, they're the walleye, right? So when you're ice fishing for walleye, getting some big wolters, you actually get the cheek part of it, right? Yeah. And which just batter it? it and fry it, which, which is, again, not the healthiest, but you're still getting a lot of good protein and it's delicious. Which side dead cook for the fish cheeks? The cheek cheeks or the butt cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> Azalea! Azalea! <laughs> <laughs> it's the cheek cheeks well, we on the fish cheeks from the deer. Yes, from the deer. <laughs> Goose. You goose and okay. Yes. Wow. So healthy healthy meal options. Um healthy things putting together. And I don't know, I wanted to do a video with H because he does a lot of the cooking for us. I mean I do some. And so when I talk about putting healthy meals together and everything, it's kind of how I do it. Pretty fast, pretty, you know, there's a couple of dishes that I'll make. Like I have, like sometimes I'll make lasagna, sometimes I'll make a bake or, uh, of something. Um, you know, I, I like everybody has kind of their signature handful of dishes, right? 
Um, <laughs> KB, nice from bro. Yeah, but I, I really have my few things, but he does it a little different, but it's still healthy. It's still good and it's still food that like the kids will eat. Like I love eating and the kids love eating and we never had a problem with them eating healthy food because of it. So just some different healthy meal ideas, like ideas about putting food together quickly, fast. And then if you have more time to cook, really kind of getting some different dishes going, but and tips about fishing. Fishing, you know, free protein, free range organic, all the good things. Katie, <laughs> nice rump Why roast. Is yes. Pointing the other way. Because I have the image flipped on the video. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, family meal ideas, healthy meal ideas. Tomorrow I'm going to talk more about meal prepping With and meal prepping for um, the week for you. Super funny story. I had a friend of mine message today that she had her delicious meal prepped meal at work in the work fridge and somebody ate her food and she had to go after him. <laughs> Which is funny now, but it was not funny for her. So anyway, so I'm going to talk about meal prepping, putting those meals together, what your focus should be, how to get more protein in with that, sneaking protein into your meal prepped meals. Um, tomorrow on my video. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, everybody have a great night. Say good night because it's time for bed for you. Mom? Yeah, say good night. Can I get to Can I have my own YouTube? Sure, but say good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Look, don't people do that and then turn it up? No. <laughs>